Hello everyone, today is a Finnish Optic video. I'm going to show you my fourth hat, which is a short visit hat. And this time I was playing with different size. I knitted in toddler size, but the hat fits me. Check it out. Okie dokie, so this is how it looks. And as I said, I used short visit hat and links down below. It's a paid for pattern and it contains four sizes. Toddler, small child, adult and large adult. And I've knitted three hats already, all fingering weight hats and all of them, all of them adult size. This one, this one. All of them are on the channel right now, so check them out. I'm going to put links down below to them and in the end maybe you can have a sneak peek of a one or two. We shall see. All right, so what did I do? I took the numbers for the toddler size. I used yarn and I hold the finger in which yarn double. The only next thing that I had to change was the size needles, size needles. The pattern tells you to use only one size, one needle size. But as you may notice, I did not follow the brim. I did a standard brim over here, I did not fold this. Um, I don't even know, but probably one and a half inch long. <laughs> um, because I was thought, because I'm thinking that folding with a thicker yarn will not give me that delicate effect. So I kept it simple. <laughs> The body I continued with, with the pattern and the same thing, like I said, I used the numbers for the brim for the toddler size and I continued with the numbers for the toddler size for the body and the creases. Back to the needle size. So this time I decided to maybe play a little bit and change the needle sizes. So I started with US size 4, which is 3.5 millimeters. I hope I'm saying it right. And then I went to US size 7, which is 4.5 millimeters. I hope I'm right. I'll double check my episode because I actually started knitting this beautiful one when we were going for a camping during the weekend. And I think I mentioned what kind of meal size I use, but I also have it on Primary League Project page. Check the links down below. There are finished objects and also whips on the go, so if you're interested in what I'm up to, check it out. Although I'm not putting my designs, if I'm designing them, on the go. Uh, internet connection. So with this one, I started with US size 6, 4 millimeters for the brim, and I switched it to US size 7, 4.5 millimeters to knit body. Good that I put it up over there. Any other changes? Not so much. The only thing is yarn that I used over here. Because during the time that I was knitting this beautiful hat and I cast it on, there was an event going on in Canada and I've never taken part in it. However, my friend sent me a bag. I think that was maybe two years ago. I'm not sure. So I wanted to kind of celebrate too, even though I wasn't there. And that's why I also cast it on this hat because I thought it would be quick. It would be nice. I could knit it in two days or three. And you can. Um, you know, with camping and stuff, meeting friends, just chatting. So I used also a yarn from Leftovers, from a friend from Canada, um, and I used a bag from Canada. Well, the only design is mine, so that's a pity. <laughs> so for the base, I looked and I found this yarn. As you can see, it has kind of moral effect. I think it is six ply and no, it's four ply and it has two gray, one, one brown and one kind of creamy color in it. So it gives nice definition and then I spot a leftovers again and this is La Gros Lana Grossa and the color is oh I'm not sure check the screen now I think that's the name of the color or uh, no color tweed I think color tweed and then the color is 1001 on the screen now. And the blend for this one is 80% uh, virgin wool and 20% polyamide. And this one is Patons Croy Socks. Forgot to show you the main color. 
and it says Glen Check and 75% wool and superwash wool and 25% nylon. So this is this one and this is this one. So uh, this time I had a different slightly needles and different slightly bag. I've knitted this pattern already three times. So check it out. First I had my let's go and see what I can do. And then I had a sample fall in the pattern and then I was knitting a hat with test knitters and then I knitted another one just for fun. <laughs> this stitch is so cool. You can use it for socks, uh, you can use it for mittens if you want to. You can actually, you took the pattern and just do ribbing, took a do a body and do ribbing and create a cowl so you can have a matching set. I hope you that encourage you to take needles, encourage you to take some yarn, buy a new one or use leftovers, play what you have, it would be uh, worth it. For an adult size, I know for one stitch, um, I use approximately two to three grams, so check what you have. So I'll show you closer how it looks up, so check it out on the screen, how those two yarns um, slightly give smaller contrast. Um, and if you're interested maybe to knit it for male family members who doesn't do not like um, big contrast, I think that would be a cool option. Always better in the hat. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Don't forget to use hashtag anything. I love show me what you're knitting. Check the links down below. Check my Instagram. Show me what you're up to. And I hope to see you in the next one. Subscribe. Bye. And like.